Hi, welcome to the MadCenter.com. In this video, we are going to be looking at a question that appeared on the recent CIE at Maths exam, okay, the additional Maths exam, October, November 2015, CIE additional Maths paper 1, subject code 0606 slash 11, okay. And the question is question number eight, and it'll give you seven points. Okay, again, paper one, add maths, CIE, uh, subject code, we have it here, 0606 slash 11, and October, November 2015. The question is question number eight, and it gives you seven points. I have paraphrased the question on the board. Uh, you can look up the question on your own. Okay? Uh, you're given a curve, y equals to 2x minus 1 over the square root of x squared plus 5. And you're asked to find the equation, okay, you're asked to find the equation of the tangent, okay, uh, on the curve where x equals to 2, okay. You're asked to find the equation of the tangent, okay, um, at the point where x equals to 2, okay. Good. So when you see the equation of the tangent or equation of the normal in any exam question, any practice problem, uh, straight away we have to find dy dx. Okay? And we're given the value uh, x equals to 2. So we'll have to do a bit of plugging in and then work it out. Okay? So let's start slowly. First, let's do the differentiation. Watch carefully. We have y equals to 2x minus 1 over uh, x squared plus 1, excuse me, x squared plus 5 square root. So, uh, dy dx, we're going to use the quotient rule, okay, we're going to use the quotient rule or we can uh, use the, uh, we can also call it the u over v rule, okay, so the quotient rule, denominator we have v squared, uh, let me write it here, the quotient rule we have uh, v squared and then we have v du dx minus u dv dx. Okay, so that's the quotient rule. So v squared will be x squared plus 5. Okay, and then let's uh, fill out the numerator. Write down v x squared plus 5 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Differentiate u, you will get 2. Okay, 2x two minus 1 when you differentiate, you will get 2. Minus. Write down u, and let's differentiate v. So bring out the power, okay, reduce the power by 1, differentiate inside, and we are done, okay, slowly. Write down u, the numerator, differentiate the bottom, yeah, bring the power down, half, reduce the power by 1, and then times, differentiate what is inside. So now let's clean that up a little bit, okay. So it's nicer to look at and easy to plug in the numbers. So I have 2 x squared plus 5 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, let's see. We have got a 2 here and a 2 here. So let's cancel that. So I'll have minus x, 2x minus 1, x squared plus 5 raised to the power of negative 1 over 2 again. I have a half and a 2 here is gone, so I'm left with the x and a 2x minus 1, and then I have x squared plus 5 raised to the power of negative 1 over 2, and this whole thing over x squared plus 5. We're done with the differentiation. So we need to find the equation of the tangent, so I'm going to call the gradient of the tangent mt, okay? The gradient of the tangent. How do you get that? Plug in the x value into dy dx. So x equals to 2. So x equals to 2. The gradient of the tangent will be, let's do that slowly. I have a 2 here. And this is 2 squared. Uh, 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. So let's write it down. Okay. And then I have, there's a 2 here. Okay. This is uh, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, and then I have x squared here is 2 squared is 4 plus 5 is 9, so I have 9 raised to the power of negative 1 over 2, and my denominator, 
x squared will be 4 plus 5 will be 9. Okay? So I don't need this. Let me erase that. Okay, let me erase that. So now, let's work out our mt. Okay? So the square root of 9 will be 3, so 2 times 3 will be 6. Okay? Uh, 9 to the power of negative half is 1 over 3. Okay? This one here is 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 3 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Is it? Okay. N over 9. So I have 4 over 9. Okay. We're not done yet. We need to write the equation of the tangent. We have only found the gradient of the tangent. Now, uh, my x value is 2. Okay. My x value is 2. I need to find the y value. So y will be 2. Okay. Just plug in the value of 2. Okay. Uh, into your the equation of the curve. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3 and 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, so now we have the gradient and we have the point. Okay, so let me just summarize it here. Mt is 4 over 9 and my point is 2, 1. We can write the equation of the line. Okay. So the equation of the tangent will be y minus 1 equals to 4 over 9 x minus 2. We have learned that before in coordinate geometry. So we have y equals to 4 over 9x minus 8 over 9 plus 1. So let me write it here. My final answer. 4 over 9x. That's good. Minus 8 over 9 plus 1. So minus 8 plus 9 is 1. So I have got... And we are done.